Hey there guys, in today's video, I'm gonna give you an overview demo of Zoho Social. I repeat, I'm gonna show you how to use Zoho Social and kind of give you a quick overview demo of how to use it. And again, I just started using Zoho Social. This is what it looks like after you sign up and have attached a couple social profiles. So uh, the top here navigation bar is how you kind of get around in the tool. As you can see, I have added two social profiles, a beta fish page, Facebook page, and then I added this YouTube channel known as Mid Media, which is my small agency YouTube channel devoted to all tutorials and all kinds of stuff. So, and again, I run a small agency helping small business owners run their social media, essentially their management. And so it's in my better interest to have the best tool to use, right? And that's how I came about Zoho Social. So first of all, if we're on, if we choose this Facebook page, this is what it looks like. It kind of gives you some analytics here of your followers, number of posts, reach engagement. And again, I've done some digging around here and uh, the top navigation is how you get around here. So if I click on the next nav, it's posts. And I quickly learned that Zoho Social is kind of derived around posting and engagement, right? So here's all the posts that I have posted on this Facebook page. And it gives you, if you click on each individual post, it gives you, uh, if you click here, post stats, this is where the Zoho social tool kind of like, it's concentrating on the analytics behind your posting, right? It gives you an engagement rate. It gives you engaged fans, impressions, fan impressions, etc. And it also kind of lets you schedule posting. You know, I can, I can click schedule posting. And, or I can do a new post and kind of schedule it over here, schedule for, for a specific date. It's really easy to use as far as that goes. And it has the messaging feature where you can manage all the social messaging in here and you can reply to people, which is pretty basic as far as social media management tools go. Um, it has this inbox feature, which is a se kind of separately different from the messages. I don't even know what this does. Um, it looks like there are no interactions to be displayed. You can initiate audience interaction by creating a post. Okay, so you just create a post and kind of like monitor the, the interactions per se. And then we have the connections tab. You can connect with people the most engaged. And again, this is grabbing basic stuff from your analytics. And again, this is how you use the tool. It's really easy to use. And it's really kind of a cheaper tool as far as social media management goes. In my honest opinion, I'm not sure it's the tool I would be using, but it's really easy to use. And this is how to use so Zoho Social. That's kind of hard to say, Zoho Social. And again, I'm just a normal guy that has gone on a mission to find the best social media management tools for the best bang for your buck and for the coolest features, right? So if we start talking about kind of some of the competitors, you know, let's take a look at Hootsuite because Hootsuite is kind of one of its biggest competitors. And again, um, Hootsuite is $130 a month when you do a cross comparison here. Um, it has a lot of the same features. We have a scheduler with a calendar. It, this is pretty cool though. It gives you the recommended time to post. Um, it has inspiration. You can use AI to kind of like help rewrite some of your stuff. You can get inspired using AI. Or if you're cheap like me, you can just go over to ChatGPT and kind of use all this stuff. It just has a lot of cool features that you can use to kind of like uh, look at your competition, look at your streams. And the analytics feature in Hootsuite uh, kind of blows away Zoho Social, if I'm being honest with you. I can personally export any type of report or analytics that I want, which is a pretty big deal for me because like what I do is I go and show these reports to my customers and I say, hey, you know, here's what the analytics look like in the reporting. Here's our growth. It's going up and it's going up fast, right? And I can show them that to, to kind of validate my results. And as far as like another competitor, um, uh, Zoho Social versus Hootsuite, I'm probably gonna choose Hootsuite, even though it is $130 a month versus Zoho Social, which is like $10 a month uh, between those two. But if I had to choose my favorite social media management tool, it's probably gonna be Metricool. And again, this is not to hijack this guide on how to use Zoho Social, but this is kind of just a better option in my opinion. This one's only $20 a month and it has a lot more features. Um, I can add a lot more socials, even I can even add my Google business profile to this tool. It has the inbox feature, um, which is all of the socials coming to one inbox, which is really helpful. And then it has a planning feature with a calendar. It tells you uh, popular times to post. 
and you just click and you just start creating your post. It's that simple. And it's just a little bit more than Zoho Social. But guys, I'm just a normal guy and this is my honest opinion on what tool I would be using. But hopefully this guide is kind of a good overview demo of how to use Zoho Social. Hit me up in the comments. I'm, um, I'm interested to see like your personal opinion and feedback on this. Chances are maybe you're researching a tool on which one to use. Maybe this video gave you some guidance. And again, you can sign up for my favorite tool using my affiliate link down below. You will get a free, a free 30 day free trial. Other than that though, it's $20 a month. And I, I chose to push this tool because it is my favorite. And I think it's the best bang for your buck. And again, I'm just an honest, real dude here shedding his opinion. So this is my video on how to use Zoho Social, a overview demo on the tool. All right, guys, make sure to subscribe and hit me up in the comments.